The HDMI 2 specification is 4K60 at 444. That requires 18 gigabits per second. However, there's no infrastructure for long distance transmission or distribution in place today that can handle that. HD Base T, which is the industry standard, and fiber top out at 9 gigabits per second. Standard IP networks have only a 1 gigabits per second pipeline. There are 10 gigabits per second networks, but they are much more expensive and don't cross the 18 gigabits per second threshold. That's why no one is actually transmitting, processing, or distributing 4K60444. Allowances must be made to get the bandwidth down to 9 gigabits per second for long distance transmission. The next big thing will be 8K, which could also include HDR and up to 120 frames per second. Depending on the 8K specification, the bandwidth requirements could be well over 72 gigabits per second. So why would anyone make a 50 gig matrix switcher? You can't get more than a 9 gig signal into it or out of it. And in the near future, if there's a new infrastructure developed to handle it, 8K will likely require more than 50 gigabits per second. It doesn't make sense. Crestron is currently working with the 8K chip manufacturers and will have access to the technology long before anyone else in the industry, just like when Valens developed HD Base T. Digital media is always first to market with the solutions you need before you even know that you need them. Crestron Digital Media is how video works.